Hello everybody and welcome back to On Point HQ. In this video, we're talking Panzer Shreks, specifically Panzer Shreks for my um, German bolt action army. Um, where to start? So, I've always wanted a Panzer, a proper Panzer Shrek team in my late war Germans, but I don't quite have one. So I thought I'd run through a bit of an evolution as to how I got there. So I'm gonna do first is just mess with the camera. So I can show you exactly what I've, I've been up to. <clears throat> okay, so this is a Panzer Shrek um, model that I got with my original uh, Faustmeager starter box. It's a good enough model. Uh, it's metal, which I'm not too, I'm not too keen on metal figures, as I may have said once or twice on the channel. The main thing for me though is his face. He's a bit, he's a bit miscast, a bit. A bit of an accident. In fact, he closely resembles uh, Major Tote from uh, <laughs> Raiders of the Lost Ark. He's, he's not had a he's not had a good war. Now I could probably fix that, but I'd probably do end, do end up doing more harm than good. But that was a Panzer Shrek team. But I never got I never got round to using it. So in my kit bashing ways, I put this together. Now this is um, two Faustmeager sporting a captured American bazooka. As these guys are set in Normandy, I thought it would be quite apt. They've been looting around some old barns or finding them on the um, amongst the bocage or the fields, um, and they found themselves a bazooka. So that was going to be my stand-in um, Panzer Shrek. I still wanted a, a plastic Panzer Shrek model. So what could I do? I went to my bits box and I think I've made one. <laughs> so let's have a look at what I've actually come up with. So this is based on the plastic um, bazooka from the USMC uh, box. As you can see, I've made a couple of additions to it. So we've got the, um, the firing kind of guard plate thing there, uh, which is a bit more, it's not really on that one. Um, but uh, uh, all the pictures I've seen of, of, of Panzer Shrek, they, they have that rather distinctive uh, plate guard. And also, the, the bit that connects the, uh, the plate guard to the, um, what, what is in essence the, um, the grip of, of, the, uh, of the, the Panzer Shrek. And that's what I've come up with. So what you'll see, for the, um, for the guard, um, when I was going through my bits box a couple of days, well, last week to build that um, heavy mortar, uh, you may have seen other videos, I found other bits from that Imperial Guard uh, heavy weapon set, including this. Now I think that this, this might be from a missile launcher, I'm not quite sure. But as soon as I saw it, I was like, ooh, ooh, I know what I could use that for. So all I did was very carefully removed the cylindrical part there filed it smooth, so it was like a, a, a kind of a, a U-shaped, it fitted quite well over. There was a bit of a gap, so what I've done, I've gone in with some green, um, liquid green stuff. Um, it's done to smooth this out a bit, still a bit a bit raggedy at the moment. Um, and then for the bit that connects the, the plate to the handle, uh, I just found an aerial off an old uh, an old Warlord Games tank, snipped it to the, the required size. It's a bit lopsided um, but from three feet away you're not going to tell but that's my that's my completed panzer shrek and i think it i think it works quite well i mean it's, it's definitely got a panzer shrecky <laughs> um feel to it what i'm going to do now is go away and actually build a dude holding this so you can see exactly what it looks like so i shall be back in a little bit to show you what that looks like so see you soon And hey presto, I am back with one fully completed dude holding a Panzer Shrek. So let's have a look at this. There we go. So as you can see, I just used a basic uh, plastic grenadier body and some equipment. The arms are actually from the, um, the USMC box and they're the specific arms that go with the bazooka allow it to be held um, properly 
Uh, what I initially found was that I chose the wrong Grenadier body. Uh, as these arms aren't meant to be going on the Grenadier bodies, uh, the one I initially chose is at a funny, kind of funny angle, and the Panzer Shrek was pointing sort of towards the floor. It didn't look, didn't look very good at all. In fact, it looked a bit too heavy for him. But this one, no, I'm actually actually quite chuffed with how it's turned out. That looks, that looks apart. I mean, clearly. From here you can see it's it's cobbled together but when it's on the battlefield from three feet away it's gonna do the business whether it'll actually do the business in game is another thing considering my dice rolling but that's that's another that's another video in itself uh, but there we go I'm, I'm quite happy with that just need to build the second guy uh, as a loader don't know whether to mount uh, mount these on the same kind of base as that or individually I don't know I'll come to that that problem when I get to it um, but these will join the long list of German stuff that I have to paint and if you've been watching this channel for any amount of time you know that I'm rather fond of bolt action Germans especially kit bashing them but that yeah I'm, I'm rather I'm gonna get that I'm gonna get that an 8 out of 10 gold star sort of because um, I'm actually quite quite happy just need to drill out the end of the barrel and there's a bit of tidy work obviously to go on with the rest of the miniature but no I am rather rather happy with that so I have replaced my initial dodgy metal one I've still got my count as bazooka I'm still going to use this for my Falschmjäger um, I think it'll still do a job I don't actually like the, like the model but for my grenadiers no I've actually now got me a nice rather easily scratch built to Shrek well there we go um, if you decide to make your own um, using this or any other bits so you've ever, if you've, you have scratch built any Panzer Shrek I'd love to hear from you speaking of which um, as we very recently reached 500 subscribers on the uh, on the channel um, thank you very much to anyone that subscribed or watched the channel 500 is just <laughs> I never never thought I'd reach 500 but in celebration what we've done We've set up our own Facebook group that people can join, so we can we can we can engage more with you guys, and we can see your work as well. I mean, I'm always throwing up my work on these videos. I'd love to see from see some of your work as well. So I'm going to leave a link to the group uh, just in this description below. Please feel free to pop along and join. Um, we'd love to we'd love to hear from you. Um, but as always, um, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you've got any comments or questions, leave them down below. But uh, thanks for watching, take care, may your dice roll well, and I'll catch you all in the next video. So bye-bye for now.